guys, this is Morty and today I'm gonna be going to Minmus, Ike and Duna using a single aircraft. Uh, I call it usually a carbonite SSTO, which means single stage to orbit, but in reality this is a much more capable craft because it's carrying a carbonite drill from the obviously carbonite mod. This mod what allows you is to drill for basically fuel, it's called carbonite, um, and while well, converted to liquid fuel and oxygen, which in essence what that means is that if you have a craft with a drill and a proper converter, you can uh, basically have infinite delta V as long as you refuel, right? So pretty much uh, so far standard uh, affairs, just take off, take a horizontal uh, angle of attack when you are up and then push yourself into an orbit nothing really special about that. So anyhow, once I get out of curving, uh, I will have very little fuel, uh, a couple thousand delta V at most, so instead of going straight to Duna, I'm going to go to Minimus first, do some science, because I'm playing career mode, um, and then refuel there, and then go to Ike and then to Duna. Regarding this craft, uh, well, as I said, it's using the carbonate mod, it's using also Farham Aerospace, which you were able to see it a little bit, the little window before. Farham Aerospace, what it does is gives the game very realistic uh, aerodynamics, if you will. And by realistic, we mean harder at some things. It makes the atmosphere thinner, so it's easier to get into orbit, but it also makes your craft very vulnerable to. Uh, pressure, so if you try to land very fast, the atmosphere will kill your airplane, in this case, uh, very 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 fast and very 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 violently, which is mostly awesome. So anyhow, right now I'm going to Minmus, uh, it's a normal standard Hoffman transfer, uh, nothing too special about this. Uh, the way this airplane works is because of the carbonite jet engines. They don't really use the intake air that is, is common from the stock game. It actually uses a scooped air, uh, which if you play the interstellar mode, you also know it, know it as in intake atmosphere. Uh, in other words, it will be able to fly in any atmosphere whatsoever, which is very convenient because well, at least the idea originally was to go to Duna and fly there and, you know, just land like a normal airplane, uh, which we will see in a few minutes that is not really possible. But anyhow, going back to Minmus, right now I'm landing on my butt. I've deployed some landing legs on my rear engine, uh, which I usually don't use. They are, they are, they are, they are mostly for the sake of me not crashing. And if I crash, to at least have a chance at bouncing up before my engine explodes. Uh, what I will try to do, which I'm doing right now, is get as close as possible to the surface, stop, flip, and land on my landing gear. And there we go. The engine in the middle that just poofed, that's a carbonite mod rocket engine. It's stupidly inefficient, it has 170 ASP, which is really low compared to the stock 300 and or so ISP. What that means is that it burns through carbonate stupidly, ridiculously fast, but it has a huge thrust, it has like 650 thrust. What that means is that taking off is extremely easy, uh, because you have a really, really big positive uh, thrust to weight ratio. Anyhow, on the bottom of the craft, I'm not showing it right now, what I'm showing is how to drill. I have the drill inside the, the tank and there it is deploying. Well, anyhow, on the bottom of the plane I have a bunch of the new rocket fuel powered RCS thingies, which also have a very high thrust. The stock ones, which use monopropellant, have one thrust, one kilonewton thrust, and this one have 12. So what that means is that 
if you have a whole bunch of them, I think I have like 20 of them, I've not really counted them, but they are a whole lot. If you have many of those, you can basically have a functional uh, vertical takeoff plane thingy, especially on a place like Minmus, which has ridiculously low gravity. Anyhow, drilling takes a real long time. Uh, especially in Minos, because there are no really good hotspots for uh, carbonate ore, you have very low concentrations of the thing uh, throughout the whole place, but that doesn't really matter because you can just time warp forwards and you will still drill. The real big problem is that it, it takes a lot of electricity, so you will need to time warp and stop and warp and stop until you have all the electricity you need. And in this craft I have very little, I only have 500, which I will be solving in the next iteration of the ship if I ever get around to making a, a new one, which I probably will. Anyhow, here we are going to dinner, uh, plotting, right now I'm doing some corrections, so I have the lowest uh, periapsis I can to dinner, uh, so that I can do exactly this, which is aerobrake. The problem with that Duna has a really stupidly thin atmosphere, so what I ended up discovering later, much to my, my disappointment, is that landing a plane on Duna is pretty much impossible. I couldn't, for the life of me, get it below 300 meters per second of horizontal speed, and that was like at 6 kilometers up. Uh, so I had to go around dodging mountains, literally, not to die. Uh, so eventually you will see me landing vertically, uh, as I did in Mimos and as I will do in Aiken at a moment. Uh, but it turns out that because I have firm aerospace, landing vertically on a place with an atmosphere means that any sort of horizontal movement will generate lift on your wings or, or something like that, so it's really hard and you're really prone to stalling and going out of control when you try to land with wings in a place with an atmosphere. Anyhow, here I'm going to Ike. It, there's nothing really too interesting to say about this place other than it's basically minimals all over again. Uh, really low, really low uh, gravity. I can just whoop into the ground, no problems. And drill again. As you can see, the ship is also carrying a science lab, so the crew is actually five carvals, not only three that you can see in the main screen. And the reason is, this ship is going to be visiting, hopefully, every single system and body in, in, the, in the system. Every single moon, every single planet. Except perhaps for Eve, because I don't think I can make it out, out of there. So I need the science lab to upgrade the transmissions uh, the information and to clean the materials junior and to, kill, to clean the goo, right? Here you can see all three engines firing. Uh, the middle one is the carbon one I mentioned before. It's really inefficient. Uh, you can actually kind of tell that by the fluid, by the exhaust. It's all over the place. It doesn't really look efficient, and it really isn't. Here I'm just plotting course into dinner. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the first three fucking million times I tried to land this, I, I failed because I was trying to aerobrake and land horizontally. Like, eventually what I did was uh, call fuck it and go back into a higher altitude. Uh, I think I went up to 60k, so 60 kilometers up where there is no atmosphere, and then I just kill all my horizontal velocity and landed on my butt with barely any fuel. I, it was really extremely close. Uh, I don't really have very good footage of this because I sadly ended up landing on the night side of the planet. Uh, and it was really difficult and stressful so I kind of forgot to have good recordings at this time I was kind of raging at the game because I failed so many times to do this. But anyhow, here you can see me. I am about touch ground and here I'm flipping killing the remaining horizontal velocity 
and using my rocket fuel power RCS to land softly into the ground. Eventually, I got all the data, I drill, as you can see in the background, and plant a flight. So, guys, this is pretty much everything for today. I'll be going to jewel our dress soonish in another episode. Goodbye.